Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, how's it going? We're going to be fishing Digger Lake today, I'm going to try and catch two uh, boss fish that I've previously caught. And we uh, started around about 4 o'clock in the morning if I remember rightly. But um, yeah, hopefully I can catch these again and uh, we'll be able to uh, replicate it for yourself. But we started over on the far right hand corner. And then I've just walked to the left. Right, so I do like to uh, walk slowly all the way around because I've heard that if you run on, on the bank then it will spook the fish. But I'm going to be using a uh, IQD rig again size 4 with the uh, Activate 8 boilie. That's all I seem to need to uh, use. Don't need to use anything else. But I'm aiming for the corner of the first lily pad. And I want it to land 14. There you go. <laughs> so that's the spot anyway. 14 yards. Let's see if I can get any bait over the top. I also bring the rods in a wee bit. Just to uh, get it on 13 as well. And a little bit more to the right. Last time I caught it within like five minutes. So a bit of luck we can do it exactly the same thing again, catch it within five minutes. I would say last time I was fishing though, the wind was blowing down into this bit. And now the wind's blowing the other way. But straight away I don't feel as confident. We're away on a rod one. We're in. Apparently there's a new update that's changed the, the line physic and um, it's supposed to stop you losing the fish if you get snagged on the island or on the side of a margin. We'll soon find out if that works. With a bit of luck though, we might have the boss fish straight away. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? We're going to have to sit through the whole boring video. It's putting up quite a bit of a fight. Got a bit of a belly on him. I don't think it is. It might be. No, it's just a common carp. That's what the uh, boss fish looks like, but he's got a much bigger belly. Again, let's wait. We're away. I hate that slight second when you first pick up the rod and you wonder if it's going to be on or off. I mean, what the fuck? You fixed it, did you? You ain't fixed shit. So the fish have been feeding over the spot, so I thought, heck, I might as well put a little bit more on top. Never away. So it's when they they come towards you that you wind, and there's that split second when they're not on. But I say the uh, the way the line handles, it seems to be a lot better now. Might speak too soon; it goes all over the place, but. Doesn't seem to be bouncing around as much anymore. It's quite hard to keep tension on the line sometimes. But I know clutch 20 is probably about right for this fish. We should have it in the blue all the time, but I don't know why it keeps dropping. I'm going to try a tighter clutch, see if it makes any difference. I 
I'd say this is one of the uh, fish that we want to catch. See, it's a common. It's like, it looks like quite a uh, big common. Again, there's no water, no line in the water. Oh, here he comes. This looks like the boxer. Yeah, I'd say this is the boxer. See what I mean about the bigger belly? Here you go, boxer. £29. Easy to catch. So he's using the rig for silt, he's using a Calder IQ D rig, uh, that's size 4 with the 80mm boilie and we was fishing on the corner of these lily pads, about 14 yards to 13 yards. So I normally cast that and wind back, there go, ran about there, literally that's where we caught him, it was around about what 6 o'clock was it? I have to go back and check the uh, video, but yeah, that's where you can get the boxer.